We are at the Dover International Speedway for the 20th and final race of Season 1 of the SCRL Cat Dog Pro Series East. The 63 car of Zachary Fitzwater will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the number 6 of Simon Fox. Heading into the season finale, we have four drivers that can mathematically win the championship. Points leader Sammy Sabby Jr. has a 19-point lead over Jay Jefferson. Sammy Sabby Jr. will be started in the 23rd spot. Jay Jefferson, who's been on fire for the past few races, will be starting a shotgun, the last spot on the field. Chris Kyle, 38 points behind, also a championship contender, of course, will be starting in the fifth spot. And Jack Legacy, he's the furthest away from being champion. He is 45 points behind uh, Sammy Sabby Jr. And Jack will be starting in the 32nd spot. So it has come down to this. 40 laps at Dover, the short track, the Monster Mile. Will the monster strike here today? More than likely, yes. So we got 20, not, excuse me, we got 36 drivers competing for the last race of the season. Four of those drivers are championship contenders. And it's interesting to know that of all these drivers, none have won the championship except for Jack Legacy. So we might have a first-time winner. We might have a first-time champion. Here's the campaign for the final time in this season. Drivers, start your engines! Jack Legacy has a championship in the SCRL Wrangler Jeans Bush Grand National Series. So Jack will be looking to win his second championship. This should be uploaded the same day as the West Division ends their season. So... Yeah. This race should be uploaded first since it's the East Division. As well as the Drivers' Championship, we also have the SCRL Last Car title, where Tim Randolph holds the lead, I believe. A slim lead over Luke Rainey. So that championship is also up for grabs. Looks like no one's having any problems. Pull the belts tight. We are racing 40 laps here at Dover for the season finale. Zachary Fitzwater in the unsponsored Toyota will be leading us to the green. Pace car pulls in. And Zachary Fitzwater puts the hammer down. We are racing here at Dover. Heading off towards turn number one. Fitzwater takes the lead into turn number two. Kevin McHugh trying to take over the lead. Down to back stretch for the first time. Oh, Fitzwater tried to get in front of McHugh, but it's not enough. Into turn four, down the front stretch, car in the wall. Fitzwater leads the first lap. Here comes Chris Kyle, championship contender. This is very huge. He needs this point for extra insurance. He has 38 points behind. Kevin McHugh takes the lead, though. But Fitzwater with a run on the high side. Look at the run he has. Wow. Cars in the wall. Fitzwater keeps his race lead. Chris Kyle still in third. About to lose it to Simon Fox. And the caution is out. For the 71, 8, 47, 28. Racing it back. And the turn three, and the turn four, and Fitzwater will lead him to the caution flag. And oh, we got a wreck. Oh, zero, excuse me, the 20. And oh, Fitzwater just ran into the back of Toby Fox. Oh my god. Wow, that was a huge mistake. Oh, we got cars spinning. And I believe Jay, Jeffer Jay Jefferson has damage. And he spins out. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, the 63 car, Zachary Fitzwater, is the race leader. But after his run-in with Toby Fox, he will not be anymore. So that means Simon Fox will be the race leader. We'll take a look at the first caution of the day. So here's the original cause of the caution. 31 car, Maria Valvarez, 
racing on the high side, smacks the outside wall with enough force that it actually slows her down. And here comes the 8 of Kyle Hunter, trying to avoid her, but he runs into the back of her, sending the 8 car for a spin. And the 31 car down the track and hits the 7 car, and Jay Jefferson nails the 8. And the 47, Tim Randolph, hard impact. And then the 9, Jack Legacy Championship contender got damaged. And then this track has a very weird bug where if drivers spin out behind them, they will actually spin out in front, which you will see with the 15. Uh, Rodriguez Eptos, he nails the 26 to Cole Nixie. Hard impact into the outside wall. And then here comes the 22 of Cam Nixie. 31, Mia Valvarez got damaged. James Stabilito. The 8 got damaged. The 47, as I've already mentioned before, 0 7. 71, Toby Fox. Now, is that what's going on? Zachary Fitzwater, our race leader, will lead him around, but we actually had a little incident with the 20 of Gustav Archoa and the 1 of Luke Craney. Make contact. And both cars hit the inside wall pretty hard. But the main story is the 63 car of Zachary Fitzwater. The caution is out. He is the race leader. He's trying to avoid the 71 car of Toby Fox. And Fitzwater nails the 71, as does the 32 car. So while leading, Fitzwater is destroyed as well as Kevin McHugh. But we are not done yet. Because we have more incidences. Because, like I said, the AI on this game is really weird. And when there's a spin in turn one, other drivers will spin out as well. Starting with the one Lou Graney. He just loses it going into turn one. Comes back across the track. Right in front of Diego Yepes. Al Legacy gets spun out. The 86, Max Anderson, gets nailed by the zero of Alexander Rowe. Then here comes Sebastian Torres. He gets floored by the 37 of Gatlin Downey in the driver's door. And Jack Legacy will spin himself out after Ryan Rush. Rodriguez Zepto spins out. Cam Nixie spins out. Evan Hunter avoids. Maria Valvarez spins out. Nick Kennedy spins out. And Jay Jefferson, who is like five seconds behind this, decides, you know what? I'm going to destroy my car as well. And Jay Jefferson nails the outside wall pretty hard. So his championship hopes are very slim now after that accident. Well, we'll clean this mess up in turn one and turn two, and we'll take you back to the restart. And that replay took way too long. The 71, the 26, the 8, the 47, 37, 2, 20, 32, 0, 7, and 0 are all out of the race, as well as Zachary Fitzwater. So, yeah. That was a big one. And Simon Fox is our race leader. And we're back to racing here at Dover. I don't believe none of the championship contenders are out. Uh, no. So we still have all contenders. Simon Fox is the race leader. Chris Kyle is second place. Simon Fox goes way high. But he's able to maintain his race lead as we got three, four wide in the... 70 spins, 0 8. Oh, look out. Semi Semi Jr. He makes it. And we are racing it back. Battle for the lead. Chris Kyle. This is a point he needs, but he just cannot get around the six. Let's see if they spin out this time. They do not. All right. So we are under caution yet again here at Dover. The six car, Simon Fox, is our race leader. So here's the cause of caution. Look at this. They're going four wide at Dover between Luke Rainey, Zaptos Amaritos, Hans Device, and Joe Jefferson. Slight contact between the 70 and the 08. And Hans Device and Zaptos Amaritos goes for a spin. The 70 nails the inside wall pretty hard. And the 08 gets damaged to the right side of his vehicle. Joe Jefferson, very lucky to not get more than that. And Sammy Sammy Jr. is able to slam on the brakes and avoid contact. 
to keep his championship hopes alive. So we just had a two car spin on the front stretch to bring out the second caution of the day. This will be a quick caution and we will take you back to the restart. And we are back. We're going to get this race restarted with 28 laps to go. No one else is out of the race. We still have 25 drivers left as well as all championship contenders. Chris Kyle is in second. Sammy Sabby Jr. is in 16th. Jack Lagacy 18th. And Jay Jefferson is in 25th. Sammy Sabby Jr., remember, has a 19 point lead over Jay Jefferson. So he is leading his closest championship contender. But Chris Kyle is in front of him by what? 14 spots. He needs 37, so it's going to be close. Chris Kyle needs a lot more luck, though. Pace car pulls in. Simon Fox is still our race leader. And we're back to racing here at Dover. No passing before you get to the line. Now you can. Simon Fox looking for his third win of the season. Trying to break a two way tie with him, Jay Jefferson. And another driver I can't think of right now. Off the turn. Field has spread it out a little bit because some drivers have damage. And we're all playing follow the leader. Battle for second. Here comes the 97, Joshua Rush. Not enough to get around the 98. Summon Fox keeps his race lead. Laps are winding down. Oh, we got a car in the wall. That's the 96, Diego Yepes. As we are three wide back here, two rows deep. As well as championship contender, Sammy Sabby Jr. He needs to get out of this. He is the points leader. He just needs to back off. He does not need to push the issue. And he gets out of three wide. Simon Fox. Maintains his race lead. 23 laps to go here at Dover. The race for the championship and the race to see who wins the race is still up for grabs. It is by no means over. Here comes the four car, Brian Fox, brother of Simon Fox. This is Brian Fox's last chance to get a win. It's been a subpar season for Brian. Just not had the luck that his brother has had. And look at Rodney Croach trying to gain a spot. Croach could have won or should have won Virginia, but a flat tire before the green light checkered ruined his chances. Chris Kyle held in Simon Fox for the race lead. Oh, Fox is in the wall. We'll be halfway next time by. Simon Fox, the veteran. And look at the 50 car, Marcos Alejandros, trying to have a good run in his last race of the season. And we are officially halfway, 20 laps down, 20 to go. If Simon Fox leads one more lap, he will lock up the bonus point for leading the most laps. Oh, and he's blown up. Oh my God. We have had that happen before many times here in the SCRL. Battle for lead. Joshua Rush wants it. Chris Kyle will lead a lap and gain one bonus point. Oh my god. I just jinxed it for Simon Fox. Wow. So Chris Kyle, championship contender, takes the lead. Leads a lap. And will maintain the race lead. Oh my god. Yep, you see Simon Fox there. His day is done. Man, oh man. Heartbreak for Simon Fox. Well, it happens to the best of us. We've had we had that earlier in the season at Richmond, I believe, where a driver was blowing up. No, at Charlotte, excuse me, where Cam Nixie was blown up. And Jay Jefferson won. So we've had that happen several times. Rodney Croach looking for redemption here at Dover. Oh, he makes 
slight contact with the four. No, oh, we're getting dicey. 16 to go. Marcos Alejandro's trying to go for second. With the 97, Joshua Rush gets a run on the high side. Joshua Rush has one career win. That was at Talladega earlier in this season. No, oh, look out. 15 to go. There's Jay Jefferson, championship contender. He has lost pace with the field. There's Jack Legacy. And there's, si there's Sammy Sabri Jr. Trying to move into the top 10. While Chris Kyle holds the race lead. He's doing everything he can by leading the race. Trying to get bonus points. And do as best he can to catch Sammy Sabri Jr. But I think he's going to need a lot more luck to catch Sammy Sabri Jr. Because Chris Kyle came into this race 38 points behind. With Sammy Sabri Jr. competing for the top 10, that will not give Chris Kyle the championship. So Chris Kyle needs like a wreck to happen for Sammy or an engine failure. As Rodney Coach is going for third, and he will take it. 12 laps to go here at Dover. Now we are catching lap traffic. We're catching the 10. So what will Jay Jefferson do? Joshua Rush trying to close in on Chris Kyle. 11 laps to go here at Dover. And 11 laps in season one. Joshua Rush trying everything he can to get around the 98. Chris Kyle going for the win and the championship. Joshua Rush going for the win. Brian Fox trying to rebound, trying to go for fourth as we're catching live traffic. There's Jay Jefferson. Here comes Joshua. Ooh. And Jay Jefferson, no, oh, he almost took out the 98. Oh, that was close. Marcos Alejandro is in the wall again. Ten laps to go. Make that nine. Rodney Croach has caught these leaders. Four wide for position back here, but Marcos Alejandro loses a spot. So Rodney Croach has caught these leaders. Be eight laps to go. Rodney Croach looking for redemption after Virginia. Chris Kyle looking for the win in the championship. Joshua Rush looking for a win. Three wide back here for position. As Jay Jefferson is blocking Eli Bright from gaining the spot. Seven to go. Rodney Croach trying to get up to Joshua Rush. Down the back stretch. Rodney trying to dive down, but he just could not get under the 97. Be six laps to go. We are catching more lap traffic. The 70 cars, Aptos Amarillos, and the 86 of Max Anderson. So hopefully they'll stay out of the way. Be five laps to go. Who will win the race? Who will win the championship? The three have broken away from the rest of the field. As you see, Sammy Sabby Jr. right there running in the 13th spot. I think that'll give him the championship. I think battle for second. Rodney Croach trying again. Just cannot get under the 97. Four laps to go. If a caution comes out, green, white, checkered will be the... I can't say it. Well, that's what will happen if we have a caution. Chris Kyle goes wide. Here comes the 97. Joshua Rush trying to get a run. And to turn four, he goes way wide. Here comes Joshua Rush with the run. Three laps to go. Lap traffic is in turn two. 
Brian Fox, the four car, is gaining on this group, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Into turn three. We'll get two laps to go. Does anybody have anything for the 98? Joshua goes a little bit wide, trying to get a run. Rodney Croach trying to gain a spot. Not enough. Into turn three. Into turn four. White flag one to go. This race is official. We got a car on the wall. That's the 50 car. But it doesn't matter. Battle for second. Rodney Croach trying to get it. Will he have the run in turn three? Yes, he does. But it's all happening between behind the 98. Off the final turn, Chris Kyle wins here at Dover. And coming across the line right there, Sammy Sabri Jr. And I believe with that 12th place finish, Sammy Sabri Jr. will be your champion for season one. Man, oh man, what a race that was. Chris Kyle needing to come into this race to win the championship. Did exactly what he needed to by winning the race, but so did his championship contender, Sammy Sabri Jr., who finished 12th. I don't know. That's I don't think that's going to be enough for Chris Kyle. But anyway, Chris Kyle scores his first win of the season and first in a long time. Second is Rodney Croach. He came so close to getting redemption after Virginia. Third, Joshua Rush. Fourth, Brian Fox. Fifth, Marcos Alejandros. Sixth, Joe Jefferson. Seventh, Eli Bright. Eighth, Diego Yepes. Ninth, Evan Hunter. And tenth is Jane Carnelli. So our championship contenders finish first, twelfth, nineteenth, and twenty-fourth, Jay Jefferson. Wow. What a race that was. And Simon Fox had a broken header looking for the win, only to have mechanical problems while leading. As you see, the rest of your race results. As far as the last car championship goes, I believe with Toby Fox finishing last, that will give the title to Tim Randolph. But of course, we got to go through the stats and all that. I'll ch double check that. So, yeah. So. The two championships came down to the final race, and before we take you to your point standings, we will first take you to victory lane with the number 98 car of Chris Kyle. By virtue of finishing last at Dover, Toby Fox gave the championship to Tim Randolph. So Randolph is the Season 1 SCRL Last Car Cat Dog Post Series East champion for finishing last the most in Season 1 of the East Series. You can see the full details in the description box at the Last Car page. Here are your points standings after the 20th and final race of the season, and it is official. Sammy Sabri Jr., the rookie, in his league series debut, his season debut in all of this league, makes his first start earlier in the season at Daytona, scores the win in his first ever start. He goes on later on in the season, scores another win at New Hampshire, and at the end of the season, he finishes 12th. And he locks up his first championship in his debut season. What an incredible 
turn of events here in the SCRL with Sammy Savvy Jr. He wins the championship by 22 points over Chris Kyle. So Sammy Savvy Jr., our champion, had two wins, four top fives, nine top tens. Second was Chris Kyle. He came so close. He did what he needed to do. He won the season finale, but Sammy Savvy Jr. just did not finish so too far back to allow Chris Kyle the championship. So Chris Kyle had one win, six top fives, and nine top tens. Third was Jay Jefferson, the dominant driver on the season. Three wins, a series leading high, six top fives, and nine top tens. Fourth, Jack Legacy, no wins on the season, but he still had a great season with three top fives and nine top tens. Fifth, Simon Fox, coulda, woulda, shoulda won the season finale at Dover, but a blown camshaft ruined that shot of Ty and Jay Jefferson with three wins. He had two. Four top fives and nine top tens. Sixth was Toby Fox, who finished last at Dover. One win, five top fives, and seven top tens. Seven, Zachary Fitzwater, coulda, woulda, shoulda, but he ran into the back of Toby Fox, ruining his chance at a win. He had no wins on the season, three top fives and five top tens. Eighth was Nick Kennedy, one win, three top fives, and nine top tens. Ninth, Joshua Rush, one win, four top fives, and ten top tens. Tenth, Marcus Sanchi, one win, two top fives, and three top tens. Eleventh, Cam Dixie, no wins, two top fives, four top tens. Twelfth, Rodney Croach, he came so close to winning at Virginia as well as Dover. He had no wins, two top fives, and seven top tens. Thirteenth, Jane Carnelli, one win, that was at Bristol. That was two top fives and six top tens. Fourteenth, Gallon Downey, no wins, no top fives, and six top tens. Fifteenth was Evan Hunter, one win, three top fives, and seven top tens. Sixteenth, Joe Jefferson, no wins, one top five, and seven top tens. Seventeenth, Tim Randolph, no wins, six top fives, and seven top tens. Eighteenth, Ryan Rush, one win, four top fives, and five top tens in his debut season. Nineteenth, Max Anderson, no wins, three top fives, and six top tens. Twentieth, Cole Nixie, one win, three top fives, and six top tens. 21st, Marcos Alejandros, no wins, two top fives, and three top tens. 22nd, Al Legacy, no wins, four top fives, and five top tens. 23rd, Brian Fox, no wins, four top fives, and four top tens. 24th, Sebastian Torres, one win on the season, that was at the Coin, Illinois. He had three top fives and three top tens. 25th was James Stabilito, no wins, two top fives, and four top tens. 26, Alexander Rowe, no wins, two top fives, and three top tens. 27, Diego Yepes, no wins, two top fives, and five top tens. 28, Kyle Hunter, one win, two top fives, and four top tens. 29, Luke Rainey, one win on the season at Thompson. He had, that was his only top five finish, and he had four top tens. 30th was Maria Valvarez, no wins. One top five and three top tens. 31st, Rodriguez Zeptos, no wins, two top fives and five top tens. 32nd was Zeptos Amoritos, no wins, four top fives and five top tens. 33rd, Hans Device, one win, that was at Iowa. That was his only top five finish of the entire season. He also had three top tens. 34th was Eli Bright, no wins on the season, one top five and four top tens. 35th, Kevin McHugh, no wins, two top fives, and three top tens. And finishing 36th and last in points was Gusto Arachoa, no wins, one top five, and two top tens. Now for the statistics on the entire season. Most starts, that's all the same. Most wins, that category will go to Jay Jefferson with three, Sammy Sabri Jr. with two, Simon Fox with two, Chris Kyle, and Cole Nixie with one. Most top fives, that goes to Chris Kyle, Jay Jefferson, and Tim Randolph, each with six. Toby Fox with five, and Al Lacassi with four. Most top tens, that will go to Joshua Rush with ten, Chris Kyle, Jack Legacy, Jay Jefferson, and Nick Kennedy, all with nine. Most polls, which is at random because we just start the race at random, but Kyle Hunter started on pole the most with three. Brian Fox, Jay, and Joe Jefferson with two, Al Lacassi with one. Most laps completed, our champion, Sammy Savvy Jr. with 520, Yang Carnelli, 512, Jack Legacy, 509, Chris Kyle, 493, and Rodney Coach, 493. 
most laps led. That will go to Simon Fox with 81 laps led. Jay Jefferson, 52, as well as Nick Kennedy with 52. Chris Kyle, 45. Cole Nixie, 31. Most miles completed, that is our champion once again, 578. Rodney Croach had 553. Zep Rodriguez Zeptos 537, Chris Kyle 536, Jack Legacy 533. The general statistics. The fastest average was Daytona International Speedway, 197.752 miles per hour, won by Sammy Sabe Jr., of course, in his debut start. The slowest average was Greenville Pickens, 49.018 miles per hour, won by Nick Kennedy. The biggest margin of victory was Darlington, where... Uh, let me look at my results. Simon Fox scored the win. The closest margin was Talladega, won by Joshua Rush. Fastest poll and slowest poll is the same thing because we skipped qualifying. Most lead changes, Talladega with 8. Most leaders, Charlotte with 8. Most yellows, Bristol with 9. Most cars running, New Jersey Motorsports Park, where all 36 cars finished the race. And most drivers out of the race was Bristol with 28. So that will officially conclude Season 1 of the SCRL Cat Dog Pro Series East. Our champion, Sammy Sabri Jr. in his series debut, scores his first ever championship in his first ever season. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this 20 race schedule here in the East Series. Later on today, hopefully, you will see the season finale for the KN for the KNN for the SCRL Cat Dog Pro Series West, where they will race at the season finale. Uh, what a series this was! It was fun, and hopefully, the West finale will be as exciting as well at Sonoma. I have no clue what series we'll be doing next. Post in the comment section below to what series you would like to see next, and hopefully. We will see you on the track for whatever series we do next. And with that, we'll see you next time. And remember, until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.